so we shall shoot it. Y'all, sorry. Your girl ain't feeling good. That's who is sorry, child. Me and this weak stomach of mine. Okay. Today is December 31st. I'm just, it's just going to be the beginning of a vlog. I tell my husband, first of all, let me say this. it has been so much going on, going on. Do you hear me not? So much going on. As you can see, I just came from work and baby, baby, I barely, let me raise this window. I barely made it to work these days. Okay, let's recap. <laughs> Christmas was last Thursday. Y'all haven't even seen my new. I can't even show y'all my new nails that I got done for Christmas, child. Christmas was a hot mess. Sorry, God. Sorry, Jesus. We did give him the glory and honor as we would do any any every day, regardless, honey. But child, Christmas was a hot mess. We had gumbo, child. Everybody was tearing that gumbo up. Me, my son, my daughter, my my little cousins, which they call me Annie, but they call me Nanny, even though I'm way old, I'm their cousin. But since I'm older than older than them, not too far from their mom, they call me Nanny or Annie. My mama, child, child, child. Friday night was Christmas Eve. I spent the night with my mom. Y'all know my husband was out of town, and I, y'all did. Y'all heard me right? Y'all heard me right? I did say was was out of town. Um, yeah, it was just so much. Oh my gosh. And, um, oh my God. He not, y'all know he had not too long just left to come back here to take us a business to go back out of town to Ohio. That's where it was, yeah, Ohio, I think, or Virginia, Ohio. And so, anyway, so he kind of found out on Christmas Eve, I think, which is that Friday, or the day before, that Thursday, Christmas Eve Eve, he had to come back. Child, the job ended. It's a lot, child. The job ended. It ended before it really got started, honey. And so he was on his way back, um, or whatever the case may be. So he was driving back on Christmas Eve. He ended up getting here Christmas night, Saturday night, around midnight. So I might as well say the day after Christmas. So he got here like right, be right before the Christmas ended. If that makes any sense, y'all. Yeah, y'all should know your girl's in pain. My stomach hurt, I feel a little weak and all this stuff like that. And I'm literally on my way to go have a COVID test done. Even though I had a COVID, COVID test done last week and it was negative because I still have that old nasty cold, that old mucus in my chest ever since Thanksgiving. So I said, let me go. Last week, take my COVID test. I took it finally, it was negative. And here I am, this probably a week today. I go, this probably a week right now, today. I'm gonna take another one. All because everybody's sick with food poisoning and I'm gonna get into that. But um people found out they got COVID and I, was, I said, let me go see. And I feel weak and I, I wouldn't feel like this here at first now. All I had was like was cold and, and little cough. That's all I had, and little mucus. Child, now I feel weak, shivery, the chills, and don't have no appetite, just wanna lay down, don't have no strength. Oh my gosh, I saw some other content created today that I just finally started you watching YouTube. And getting the strength to watch any of the body on YouTube. And baby, they was talking about they going through too. I said, what in the world is going on? What in the world is in the wall? Okay. Honey. So yeah, so my husband's on his way back. So I ended up spending the night with my mom on Friday night. And I knew that my little cousin had cooked gumbo. I normally would do it some I normally they wanted me to cook it, but I tried. The girl wasn't feeling good. I mean, I wasn't feeling like I'm feeling now. I'm feeling worse now, but I had that little cold. I ain't want to cook, cook, you know, no cold and all of those stuff. I just didn't want to do that. Even though I could have washed my, I would have washed my hands. Had on gloves. I just didn't want to. So, um, yeah. So she did a big old, big old pot too. So at my mama house, and I went over there. We all ended up spending the night. My mama house. All of us girls we ended up spending the, my mama, her granddaughter, me, her daughter, her granddaughters, and her little nieces. And spent the night. And so, and my, her, my grandchildren, my Callie, who spent the night. And so, and baby, we was tearing that gumbo up, honey. I was shy. She had shrimp in there, good old uh, uh, crab. That was good, child. So here it goes. And my baby was on the phone, my baby, back and forth, making sure he was driving. He was all right. He had to pull over, take him a nap, or whatever the case may be. And so, um, then Christmas came. So I think what we did, I remember we opened up the gifts 
Christmas Eve night. We didn't even wait till Christmas morning. Well, some, some, my mom chose and my little niece chose my brother's daughter's diamond. She chose, those two chose to open up their gifts and treasure, I think. Open up their gifts the next day. And my, my son hadn't come that night. He didn't come, he didn't come until Christmas day, afternoon. But I, um, I opened up my little gifts that night and all the gifts I had for my grandkids, really. And so my treasuring them, my mom, and for everybody, really, I had gifts for everybody this year. I did good this year. I started making my gifts, getting my gifts around July, I think. Or July or August. So I did very well this year. Um, so I opened up my, my grandkids, Callie Poo. That's the only grandkid I had there. Opened up all her gifts that night. She had a whole lot of them, child. I mean, a whole lot, a whole lot of babies. God really blessed her this year. And um, I'm on something up here, y'all. So, um. So that's, that's what was going on. So the, the kids, all the other kids, my little, little cousins opened up their gifts and stuff too. And so we just sat around, ate gumbo, talked, and just act, act silly. You know, let my little niece down and act the fool, you know, whatever case may be. And that what we did, child. So then they, um, so like I said, we also did the next morning, which was Christmas, and my mama got up and my my little niece got up opened their gifts. And I was on, I was up early on the phone with Carl Jean because the house was quiet. And I was... I, me, I was on the phone with Carl. Ooh, look at this line. Child, child, I have an appointment though. Oh, y'all, it's longer than yesterday. Ooh, it's longer than yesterday. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show y'all. That's where we're going. It's called Houston Medical ER. I don't know if y'all can see it on the other line. Child, it, yeah, I came yesterday just to walk in, get the accept walk ins. And I tried to, I, I went parked and I went to make an appointment while I was in the parking lot. And they didn't have any appointments for yesterday. Y'all look at how mess this girl have any makeup, no eyelashes, no nothing. You hear me? So, look at this. Look, y'all. Look at this. Look at all these people. Look, waiting. Look at the line all around. And I got an appointment. And what time is it now? It is 11. Uh, 11 15. I just got work at 11 o'clock, and I, my appointment's for 12 25. Me and call. I made a point for me and call. Jean, yeah, I'm gonna see you. Oh, this way. I'm gonna find me an appointment. Child, look at the line, y'all. I'm gonna have to go up there and see how they're doing it because oh my gosh, y'all. And I feel bad people sitting down. Look. Can y'all see it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, any old how. I'm sweating right now. I'm taking this, this sweater off. I know that. I'm going to have to go into the front right here. I'm going to have to go into the front to go find out. Oh, you got a parking space right here. And I'm going to put a bag D right in. So now I'm just going to go forward so that way y'all can see behind me. Yesterday, you can even find this yesterday. Anywho, I can still touch y'all just for a quick second. Oh my goodness. Anyway, y'all, so Sunday was, uh, I mean, Saturday, was, Saturday morning was Christmas, and we know we got up and opened up our gifts. I was on the phone, went outside, talked to Carl Jean on the phone, and um, to see how far he was, how, how long would it be before he get to Houston. And he was saying it'll be late. He'll be late that night, a four four days the next morning, which is Sunday. But like I said, he got that got here to Houston around about eleven thirty, right up at midnight, um, Christmas night, which was for the next day, day after Christmas, y'all. So anyway, um, we was saying that gumbo up. Everybody was, even my son. So I know Christmas morning after me and Treasure opened our gifts. I'm hot, y'all. I um went, me and Treasure went to go visit my grandchildren, my other grandchildren, Zaza and Sakaro, and my son met us over there. So it was me, Treasure, and Callie went to go and visit um, take all them gifts I had. All them gifts. I had my Santa Claus hat on to go visit Sakaro and Zaire and give them their and her, her, their little brother to give them their gifts. And we was over there for about an hour and something. An hour and a half over that child. Just hanging out outside while Zaza played with his stuff. Sakaro liked her stuff. It was a nice time, y'all. Listen to the music. I call myself Jen. Damn it. I not at this time I didn't feel sick then. 
you know, I don't think I still had, it was like my, my little nose to the mucus, but you know, I was handling that. So I was, I was your girl. I was still Lisa Michelle, honey. Child. I need to slow my roll because I get energy, then I don't. I get spurts of energy, then I don't. So chill out, Lisa Michelle. Ooh, we yeah. are. So that was a good, good morning. So um, Treasure ended up riding back with her brother, my son, back to my mom's house. But they was they were planning on going somewhere to my little cousin's house, Hattie, who cooked the gumbo. They were, was having like a get together at her house later on that night, Christmas night, around eight o'clock. So I said I wasn't going. I was gonna go chill, chill out my mom's house. But what about in my house besides the dog? So and Carl still hadn't made it home yet, which Carl wasn't supposed to even come home, you know. So anyway. I said, let me go, since she's going to ride with Damonte to go and go take a shower at her apartment, go to Cali, go get a shower, and then they're going back to my mama's house so Damonte can fix some gumbo so they can all meet back up. They can all meet back up, make it meet back up at my mama house, Hattie, my little cousin, little Hattie, my niece, Diamond, and my daughter, Treasure, and I guess that Damonte, all them younglings, all those millennials, meet up at my mama's house so they can go and go to Hattie's house for that evening or whatever the case may be. So, and my mom was supposed to be going to visit her sister. My auntie Brenda came down from town, came down from um, North Carolina. And my mom was gonna go and hang out with my auntie Brenda before she go back. But my mom ended up, so mom, anyway, let me say this. My mom was sick on Christmas day. That's right. Or was it, was it that Friday? Yeah, it was that Friday night because we opened gifts that Friday. <clears throat> so she was feeling well that Friday, right? And so, um, so she had ate gumbo before me. And I, I didn't know nothing about the gumbo. Might have been food poison, caused food poison or nothing. So she had already, had already eaten gumbo. And we was wondering why she was laying down. But she kept saying Friday. I went over there. I worked Friday. I went over there Friday evening. And so she said, well, I don't feel what I'm laying. I don't feel good. So I said, okay. So then Friday, so Saturday, Christmas Day, she was laying down again, whatever. So I said, well, let her, let her, let her down. She'll feel like she kept saying, oh, I'm going to have to go to the ER, urgent care. I'm going to have to go to the urgent care to go find out, you know, what's wrong or whatever. I said, oh, boy, ma. Like that, you know, I'm thinking, like, oh, boy, you know, she might have COVID. Because my mama makes sure she's very cautious, honey. Keep her mask on, wash her hands, stay for sure at least six um, feet from people, you know. So I said, oh, boy. And so, um, she wasn't feeling good at all Friday or really Saturday for sure bad. So then, like I said, we left and came back. Treasure was my, my son. I went to the house to go check on my dogs. I went home. I took my, I went home about five, about three, four hours. Took my time. Not five hours, about three hours. Took my time. Walked the dogs, each one of my dogs. Let them just, and I just felt the breeze. I just felt the breeze. I was on the phone call a few times, checking on him, see what he was, if he was good, if he stopped or this and the other. And I could wash clothes. Fold them, and wash them and dry them, fold them up, put them up, wash dishes, you know, and put them up. You know, I don't like to come home to a dirty house. I don't care if I'm off next day or not. You know, I like to come home to a clean house where I can do absolutely nothing, okay? This is Christmas Day. And so, because we had pretty much opened up the gifts and I had packed up my car, put all um, car, I had my son's gifts in my car plus the gifts we had for Carl in my car. So, and like I said, I went home, took a bath, and just relaxed, and I kind of lay down too. I didn't think I was feeling ill, but now as I'm thinking about it, I was kind of feeling a little funny on Christmas, right? And so Monday came back to work. All right, back to work we go, baby. I think my supervisor was off Monday. My main supervisor was, was, supervisor was off, and I felt well. I didn't feel as bad that early when I first got there. But as the time progressed throughout the um, throughout the work week work day, the girls started feeling so bad. I said, "Oh my god!" And I didn't know what it was. I kept saying, "Why well, I feel weak?" You know, I feel I just feel like I'm extra tired. You know. And by this time, I oh yeah, my mom did say she's going to urgent care, but you know, it's su Sunday. You know, I didn't know, <clears throat> so she didn't get her results back until later on Sunday, or either maybe Monday. No, she got them back Sunday. So Monday, she did tell me Sunday that she had they told she had food poisoning, that she was free, she didn't have COVID. And then she had food poisoning, right? I said, oh, boy. And I'm thinking, like, where she... Oh, I said, no, I asked her. I said, where you think you got food poisoning from? Because by this time, I still don't know. I feel funny. I feel like a little tired, but it's not like what it is right now, you know? So I'm wondering, like, you know, okay, well, okay. And she was saying, well, I said, what you ate? And she said, well, I ate some um, some potato salad. She said, potato salad. I said, oh, okay. So I'm thinking she got it from potato salad, child. So, okay, so this Monday, I still ain't put two and two together. My feelings haven't, my little weakness hadn't, was strong, but it wasn't like it is like now, like real right now, or whatever it may be. So, Chai, 
went to work Monday. I felt all right a little bit when we, so when we got up, when I got off work, but of course, Carl Jim was home. And oh, that, oh, that, that, that Sunday, my first day he got home on that Sunday, he got home midnight Sunday. He had wanted me to come. I said, uh-huh. I said, no, I ain't finna come home right now. I'm tired. So normally in that, in that time, I would have flew on with my baby. <laughs> Child, please. I said, who? It's a new, new day has arisen. Yeah, girl, I, I'll be there when I give me some t rest. I'm tired right now. So, and he wanted some gumbo. I said, I'm tired, you know. So, I ended up waking up around about three or four, maybe five, the latest to go home. So, I went home around about, about five. Yeah, I'm hot. So, I went home around about, um, about five in the morning to go home. Because it was like almost the sun was like coming out. So, I went on home and I laid down. Whatever, so then Monday, and I didn't, I didn't know then I wasn't feeling, wasn't feeling good either then. So I didn't realize it though, because it wasn't strong enough yet. It was in its early, early stages. So, cha, cha, cha. So, I went to work Monday, and I barely had enough strength to go to work Monday. But I did, didn't realize what they was from. Went to work by the time I got off, that's when it hit me when I got off, because I had to go take back two items. One thing I got for Kelly for, for Christmas that Curtis said she didn't need that, and something I bought for my grandson that's almost $100. That I found out it was, it was like it was like a bean bag for a gamer, and I thought it was like a chair. It was like a bean bag chair. Yeah, that thing was like almost it was sixty something dollars. And um, but them two together, when I got back it was like a ninety seven dollars together. But I treasure read the this inscription a description on Amazon, and it was only the cover of the bean bag chair of the gaming chair. I said, oh no! So I would have still had to go purchase the beans. To put in the bag or in, in the the chair. I said, "Oh no, ma'am, no, ma'am." My surgery coming too. Give me, give me my money. I want my money. Um, Amazon. I want my money. Child. I saw Monday when I got off work. I took those two, those two items back, and I had to take them back to a UPS store. So I took them to so Carl G rolled me because I wasn't feeling well then. But he rolled me up there. And I drove because I wasn't feeling that bad. Boy, oh, but by the time we came from up there. Up there dealing with that man, computer, his, his lap, it couldn't print. I wouldn't print out. I said, oh, my gosh. I was getting irritated. And I was hungry, too. I felt weak. And I was hungry. I said, oh, uh, uh So by the time we finally left the UPS store, uh, which I go to that store all the time. I do business that person all the time. Man, I was so irritated and tired. And I felt really weak then. And Carl going to hop his butt on the passenger side. I said, baby, you just heard me say I'm weak. Oh, MG, why you can't just drive for me? So he went on here and got there. He said, oh, okay, well, I drive, but you better get on that phone. You better be on the phone. I said, I said Ninja, you can't tell me not to get on the phone. I said, I'm going to call my mama. Check out my mama. I said, my mama doing Ninja. You ain't better tell me. So, y'all, yeah, I called my mama. Check on her so while he was drove. Y'all yeah, was so weak. Now, that was the first day I felt really, really bad. It was Monday. But baby, come Tuesday. Baby. I, I was late. Was that the day I was late? Two hours. One of them days, I was late. Nah, I, I thought I was late Monday by 30 minutes. And then that Tuesday, I forgot I was late. By hour. One of them days, I think yesterday, I was late by two hours yesterday. Today is, and I don't know y'all, when y'all can get this in. Because I got another video I need to edit, and I don't have to edit it. But today is Friday the 31st, the day before New Year's Day. So yesterday was Thursday, and I was late two hours, I think it was. Baby. Anyway, Tuesday was the worst day. It was the very worst. So it might be Wednesday. I was late two hours. I was late two hours for work, child. And I ended up staying to my extra two hours um, after work to make up those two hours. Even though I didn't have to, I could just took leave. But y'all know I'm having my surgery coming up, you know, in a minute, January 25th. And I leave my leave and I need it just for whatever I need it for next year, you know? So I didn't want to take my leave if I could make it up or whatever. So I ended up making it up, child. But Tuesday was so bad, y'all. I took so many breaks that day, y'all. I went to lunch, break, 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 break. And, I'm, and I, I'm so glad that nobody said anything to me because they, are, they can tell that my energy was so low because I walked slow. I wasn't talking. I wasn't laughing. I wasn't my outspoken, cheerful, talkative self. You know, like, wow, I'm, it was bad Tuesday. And then when I got off of work Tuesday morning, I didn't have nowhere to go. I went straight home. And laid in the bed from Tuesday, about 11 o'clock, like, like what the time it is now, all the way to 11 o'clock that night. To the time he was ready to get up. Because I had been going in at midnight for a few days, too. I didn't make it that day. That's what it was. I didn't make it that day at midnight. So, uh, it was about, it's been bad. So, 
Needless to say, it seemed like I have COVID, but I don't know because it could be that food poisoning because my mom got checked and she didn't have COVID. She had food poisoning. And then kind of found out that it was the, the um, everybody, everybody feeling bad. Me, Treasure, and Demonte. So what made me know my son wasn't feeling bad, y'all, is when I came in, I think I came in Wednesday. I came in on Wednesday and he didn't have the ceiling fan on in the house and he did not have on the AC. Now he gonna have on one or the other, child. He didn't have the ceiling fan house on and the house was a little warm, like I like it. I said, Demonte, I was already week two then. I said, Demonte, you uh sick? You don't feel well? Your stomach hurt? He said, yeah, a little bit. Oh boy, and I knew it. I just called my mom right there and said, mama, it's Hattie Gumbo. That's the common denominator when we all ate, it's Hattie Gumbo. And because my mama kept saying it wasn't her, it was her, um, it was some sweet, no, that's sweet potato, some potato salad she ate. I was on my mom. And but even though you can tell from the gumbo, the gumbo didn't have no smell, it didn't taste no type of way. You know, I know how, how um, sour a spoiled food smells, especially seafood. I know how that smells, boo boo. No, ma'am. That was not it. And so my mom said, I said, what you think it was? You know? And um, she said, well, she went and bought the crabs and in the shrimp. She went and bought it for Hattie. What she did, what she did was, she went to go walking. She left the the, the crabs and all the groceries she had bought for Hattie to make the gumbo, which Hattie had given her the money to buy it or whatever. So she got all the ingredients for Hattie to cook. And so, her name Liz, we call her Liz Hattie because my grandmother was Hattie, but um, Liz Hattie to cook. And my mama said she had stopped by her and her girlfriend, church when they were walking. I said, now, nah, ma, you know. But my thing is, I thought about it, but still. I said, well, how long was you walking? To my baby, 30 minutes to an hour. Well, my thing is, <clears throat> if you just got the <clears throat> the crab, they were frozen from the grocery store, and the shrimp, they were frozen. And normally, when they package up the shrimp, they put it in, like, in that, that wax paper, y'all, that white paper or brown paper, and it'd be, <clears throat> it'd be packaged up. <clears throat> Even if you... Unless you, had to, unless you had the shrimp in the direct sunlight, I mean, for a long time, I mean, maybe I was not good. I don't know, but if, I'm sure that she did not have those shrimp and those crabs in the direct sunlight. I'm quite sure they were in the bag, and I'm quite sure the bag was not in the sunlight. You know, I don't, I'm sure they weren't. I asked them, I'm just saying, no. I said, but my thing is, they were probably already getting bad. They probably already bad. <clears throat> they were probably already getting bad, y'all. You know? So, that what they was. Them crabs and the shrimp, or so which one it was, both of whichever one it was, they were probably already getting back. And I asked her where she got it from. She said Food Town. Now, normally, Food Town well, is pretty good with, with their seafood. And I thought maybe she was going to say Fiesta. But she said she got from Food Town. So I don't know, child. But it, it wasn't no dang on me. Uh, no, uh, mashed potato. No, no. What she said? Yeah, potato salad, child. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Because I didn't eat no potato salad, no potato salad for no Christmas. Nobody did. She did. Where, and the way it was, I don't know. She must have had that before we got there. So everybody ate that um, gumbo, and everybody was sick. Eat my son. Now, so my, so my son goes to the hospital to go find out. I said, go have a coffee chair, just make sure. Because he had the chills, sweat, and all that. Something I wasn't really doing. Not too much, really. And he got COVID, child. So my son got COVID. Kind of found out Trish Berry and Kelly got the COVID. I don't guess your mommy telling y'all that. And my mom went got checked, but she didn't have COVID when she went that Sunday. The day after Christmas, she didn't have COVID. She had food poisoning. So I'm thinking that I got food poisoning too because <clears throat> I didn't have all those symptoms when my son had all this sweat. But then I started sweating too a little bit lately or whatever. I don't know. So mm -hmm. now I'm up here. Came in yesterday to take the test because they had to take walk ins. Line was around the corner. Watch your short, y'all. Today is even worse around the corner. But today I got an appointment. Me and Carl have an appointment for 12, 12 25. So, anyway, I just want to tell you that. But um, I'm probably going to come back later on. And Carl going to probably vlog me. I don't know. Vlog him. Vlog. I don't know. Because the child, the girl don't feel good, child. So, anyway, I'm going to come back to y'all. I'm going to go check in and see if I can go get in right now. And then, I'll, this is a rapid, rapid test. So they normally give you my give me my results within an hour, sometimes 30 minutes. So this is what me and Carl came the first time last year when we got um, tested for COVID. My son too, he was negative and me and Carl was positive last year in November, over a year ago last year. So I'm gonna come back to y'all. I know I done talked all around the world. Y'all know how I did with me. Anyway, I love y'all, talk to y'all later. So that's what's been going on with me. See y'all later on here.
Child, it has been three hours, almost four hours that I have been in this line. And here come Carl, just getting here from doing some odd jobs around the house and whatever with some chairs and some food and your girl is tired, weak, and a little hungry. Child, feet aching. He had to bring my Crocs to change my feet and now he ready to talk. Child, we are literally in the line moving up. As we move up, we move our chairs up and here he go, want to talk. I advise everyone to go get tested. Go get tested. Go get tested. Go get tested. You need to go get the needle and get the thing in your nose. So they can see if you don't talk, whatever they're going around in there. You need to go get tested. Find a word. Get tested. Here go my wife. He's sick at this moment. That's all she can do is wave and day. And we got our resort back. And we got our resort back. Hit it, Maestro. And my wife came back negative. But I yeah. feel it. But I, feel, sure I feel some type of way, though. But she feels some type of way still. And? <laughs> I think they missed them up. But it's all good. It's you all go good. No. And it's all good. <laughs> but this is what y'all see out of the I love Lisa Michelle. Shoo. She's out of there. She's out of gas. She's not in power right now. Nope. She's not stomach. able to presume. Nah, stomach right She's not able to perform. Perform her duties. I can't get lied. On her mukbang. Sorry, y'all. This is what you get at this time of year. And there's so much going on, so much sickness, so much dying going on around us. I mean, you is not exempt from getting it. So watch yourself, be careful. Because if not, you're going to be laying in the bed on your husband or, or, or your own pillows, but they won't be Dallas Cowboys. Those are my pillows. And uh, yes, that's right. And she she just having her way on my pillow. Boy, I tell you. Uh, uh, uh. Peace, Willow. Oh, boy. Peace, Look what she's showing. <laughs> she said I'm full of that right there. Boy, y'all really better stop playing with me. Boy, woo. Boy, you think you're sick right now? Girl, I'll make you boo. I'll make you do. Make you do your thing. Stop playing with me. Boy, I'm told the people. Stop playing with me. And I'm telling you, don't play with me. Yeah, I have. So I how have, you feeling today? I have spurts of energy. I feel good at some points. And I, I can't say, well, how are they going to tell me I'm negative and he's positive? What the world? So I don't know. I had it all messed up because I'm very energetic. I'm very up and I'm moving around. I don't have no symptoms or anything. So I, so I think they missed it up. Don't tell me. I think they missed it up. Last year, this time last year, he was sick. Okay, but I'm not now. I'm not now. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Stop playing with me. That's him on the toes. Do you see the toes? Ashy, that's enough. That's enough, Carl I said it's enough. It's ashy. Oh, MG, I'm going to eat a bit. I don't worry about it. So where you finna go? You finna go to the... Well, I'm negative. You positive, but you said you finna go where? In the garage. Mind my business. Yeah. But I think it's the other way around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's the other way around. So I'm, I might have stomach falling or something, y'all. Something going on with her. But I'm up, moving around, live and fire. It's my stomach hurt, that's all. I feel weak, that's it. That's my stomach hurt, and I feel weak. <clears throat> that's about it. Well, y'all, that's all y'all get. Four minutes of the I love Lisa Michelle. Yeah, they got that fire and fire. At her lowest, <coughs> but at her best. 
She will. I'm gonna read my word in a minute. <clears throat> oh yeah, we are gonna read the word, read the word, bring in the new year, bring in the new year. Uh, right. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, boy, here we go, mm. bringing in the new year. Happy New Year to all Leechadians that that you really have time, been supporting my wife to the fullest, and uh, we gonna bring in the new year with a bang and try to be better this year than we was last year. And here we go, y'all. Beginning of a new year. Woo! Through God's grace and mercy, may he allow you to wake up to see 2022. Oh, boy. Here we go. Roller coaster ride, y'all. Who, who want to get on it? Oh, cause we finna go for a long ride. What? I mean, yeah. up, down, around, what around. What you mean by that? I'm not going to tell nobody what I mean well, about that. My, um, yeah, okay. Um, Don't try to pull nothing out of me. I ain't trying to dish out. What's wrong with you? Shoot, with all that stuff on the camera. Okay, y'all. We're going to end the show. You said that five times. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all. Show your own self. I ain't got to show me. It ain't that important. Bye.